So Late Bloomers is about an aimless, messy 28-year-old woman who falls and breaks her hip, and she ends up in physical therapy with a bunch of senior citizens. And that's where she meets uh, an elderly Polish woman who she befriends and ends up taking care of. And ultimately, it's about these two women, both from different generations and different backgrounds, who are finding their own ways to come to terms with the process of aging. Karen is actually, she's married to one of our friends from college, which was lucky for us, because that's how we got connected with her. And I mean, the moment that it was a possibility that she was going to do the movie, I was like, of course, we want Karen to do it. I think the first thing that I really responded to was just the strength of the script. Like, I really love writing that has, like, a real sense of identity to it. And Anna's writing just really has, like, a style. Like, you know that it's her writing when you're reading it. And I really responded to that. And then I was like, this role is really interesting. It's something that you haven't really seen me do very much of. And I felt like I could probably be quite free in the role and sort of give in to all of my impulses rather than suppressing all my weird quirks. <laughs> If that makes sense. Um, he wanted all the weird quirks. Yeah, and Lisa was very encouraging of all of my strange little impulses. Um, so that was really nice. Um, and also just working with, with these two, because they're great. Yeah, it's been cool seeing her not be cool. Because uh, in so many roles, she's just like this femme fatale powerhouse, which is so amazing. But she's, a, she's so, like, you know... Crazy and like <laughs> so funny. Not I mean, so funny, and so like, yeah, it's like unique. And so it was really fun to like get to have her do whatever she wanted to do. Because I mean, yeah, I just will say it again. She's so funny. Yeah, it's pretty autobiographical. Um, I wrote it about nine years ago now when I moved to LA. Um, most of what happens in the movie happened to me, um, except I didn't make any friends in the in, in the physical therapy ward that I was in um but yeah it uh it's pretty autobiographical yeah did, so did you fall down oh yeah yeah I felt no no I fell down uh going to the grocery store which is you know uh sad um I was slipped on ice and uh yeah for for better drama we had her be drunk and trying to see into her ex's place. But I had that mentality at the time. I just didn't do it at the same time. Yeah, I mean, the financing process took, yeah, probably like seven years from when the producers were attached to when it got made. I didn't even, I read the script when Anna first wrote it just because we're friends, but I wasn't, it was before I was in consideration to direct it. And then uh, I think like 2019, after we did Sundowners and we did our shorts together, that's when I got attached to direct it. And yeah, from then we were still trying to get it made. Yeah.